Hello, hello, and welcome. How's this song audio? I think it's okay. Holy smokes, it's really nice and bright in here today. Monk, you're still here. Thanks for chilling with us. Okay, I think that is good for the music. <sighs> 37 in Ottawa and nice, Mish. Welcome. Hi and bye, Bonk. He's going to make that money. Shutting it down right about now. Okay, go have a good day and hope your potato party is awesome. If you want, take a picture of all the potato dishes and share it with us in Discord so maybe we can get inspired. <laughs> okay, who was first today? Well, it actually was Bog that was first today. I was getting ready for stream, guys, just in the bathroom, and all of a sudden the chicken wing song played. We were like, what the heck? It was Bonk's resub. It was really funny. So thanks for that, Bonk. 30 months. Holy smokes. Hi, Cookie. Good to see you today. Samo's with us. He dropped the car at the charger already. Madame, welcome in. Hello, Alti. Just got back from camping. Madame was playing games and having treats all week. Did you have your ice cream party yet? Hello, Trekkert. I'm going to actually turn this fan on beside me. It's getting warm already. Really nice day today. It's actually a summery day. What does it say? It's already 24 degrees Celsius here. Ooh, wee, she's heating up. Guess they messed up the weather set a high of 90 F, but it's already over that. That's is like the trend for this year. It's like every time they say it's gonna be a certain temperature, it's like at least five degrees warmer. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice, easy Sunday brunch day. Uh, recipe is not linked from a browser page on the internet because it's a recipe that I have made up myself. I believe it's in Discord. I'm just gonna search for it. Someone took a photo or a screenshot last time I made it, and I don't know where the paper is currently. Doo, doo, doo. We're scrolling. There it is. Kate's fluffy pancakes for two. Should I double this then, Sam? Or just make this amount? Double it up, he says. Okay. Honey fruit salad, yeah. We got nectarine. I also found kiwis in the fridge. So nectarine, kiwi, raspberry. Kind of tossed with some honey. Maybe a little bit of a liqueur to macerate it. And some vanilla. Thought that would be really good with the pancakes. Just freshen it up a bit. Okay, so here's our menu then. Buttermilk pancakes studded with fresh blueberries topped with nectarine and raspberry fruit salad until I found the kiwis. So we'll add some kiwi in too. Maybe like a very small amount of fresh mint in there. Freshen it up, right? Okay, so we'll get started. I do like to like make the pancake batter a little bit ahead of time, like let's say 30 minutes or so before you plan to make it. Let's say minimum 15 minutes before you plan to cook the pancakes. Just make up your batter, let it sit a little bit. I just find that they cook up a little bit nicer if you let them rest right after you mix the batter. Okay, end of the, another notebook. So I guess I will go find another one don't think it's here. Another notebook. Bites the dust, chat. 60 sheets. 60 days of cooking. Gonzo. I think I gotta dig up here. Kate's digging in the office box. A slight thunderstorm tonight, Samo says. I had to turn on the light. 
I couldn't see nothing in here. Hello? Notebooks? You don't have any left? Well, there is. I just don't know where they are. That's really weird. There they are. Literally the back, back, back. That is so hard to get to. And we picked green. Oh. <sighs> Success. <laughs> Hello, boss man. Did you make it in time? You did. Just in time. Yeah, we just in time. Yeah, we're just making up the list. I had to dig out a new notebook since we finished the last one. Look at all those cooking pages. So helpful. Organization. Yeah, Alti, do you have no notebooks? We have lots more where this came from. So first things first, let's make up our pancake batter. And then while that's resting, we will make our little bit of fruit salad to macerate and we'll cook up those pancakes. It's gonna be a nice easy day today, guys. We deserve it. It's gonna be a nice day outside too, so maybe we'll go get some fresh airs. What's everyone else up to today? Today's so simple, we didn't even have to really write it down on the list. Did you let go with some nice weather camping, Alti? Okay, so our pancakes just posted up. Aside for me, I said I'm gonna double it, so come on in. Boom. I guess we got to pick through a couple blueberries as well, but ingredients for our pancakes, butter. I'm gonna use buttermilk instead of just plain milk. We need eggs. Baking powder, salt, and sugar. You're telling Sam you missed out on milkshakes? Oh no, that's sad. Yeah, our wet ingredients, milk, butter, eggs, dry ingredients, flour, sugar, salt, baking powder. It's a very, very simple recipe. And I have made this recipe up originally for a brunch menu for a restaurant. And everyone loved it. I'm just gonna go put my clogs back on. I ditched them. I ditched them when I was looking for the notebook. So we will have to melt some butter. And then we want two separate bowls as well to make this batter up. One bowl for the wet stuff, a little bit smaller, and then one bigger bowl for the dry goods because everything gets mixed into the dry stuff. Oh yeah, Deep River. That's so cool that like Sam knows what you're talking about. I think this will be a good amount as far as the sizes of bowls that we need. Just move some of this stuff out of the way for now. Hi Weasel, how are you? Tim Hortons has a EV charger? Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, we need two and a quarter cups of milk or buttermilk. Maybe we'll use just the measuring cup. And then afterwards we'll put the butter in. Two and a quarter cups. I'm gonna use buttermilk. Let's see if we have enough of this. Yeah, cool thing about the car is we can literally like use any plug. It just, obviously the regular plugs are a lot slower to charge. Mm. 
Really good way to use up the buttermilk. There we go. Almost used up all of it. That's perfect. And then into the bowl first off, we'll crack our eggs. So it says one and a half per recipe, so obviously we'll do three. Get my compost bucket opened. Gotta go pick up the pupper. Nice, she's at the kennel. We'll have a safe trip. Well, we should still probably be on. Hi, Oversight Mod, how have you been? It's been a little while. Good to see you, though. Astra girl. She's like, Auntie, I like eggs. I'm an egg dog. You just had your breakfast like an hour ago. And so I always whip up the eggs first and then we can add the buttermilk or milk and then the butter to that. But the butter's gotta be melted. Let's just grab a whisk. You've been great? Awesome, that's so good to hear. And yeah, we've been doing A-OK. -okay. You know life, it has its ups and downs. We're cooking some really nice and easy brunch food. Kind of like a nice summery plate though. Lots of good fresh fruits that are in season now. It's gonna be lovely. And Sam said he's very excited. He said he could eat pancakes every day of the week. So he's very excited for pancake day on stream today. So our two and a quarter cups of buttermilk. And then these are actually good leftover too. Mix this up now. Pop anyone else ever just pop their leftover pancakes in the toaster real quick. Works so good. Same with like waffles if you meal prep them for your mornings. Like using pancakes as the bread for egg sandwiches. I like that. And high fortitude too. Love the tats. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Have a small question. Trying to lose some weight while building muscles. So you're looking for high fiber, high protein, low fat recipes that are also delish. Do you have any recommendations? Uh, I mean, I've done bodybuilding before, but I will tell you that it is the most atrocious, boring menu that you will ever have in your life. But it does work good. But like, it's not sustainable to the point where like, you're gonna have the body you want for the rest of your life, you know? So it like really pushes it to the extreme. But a lot of the times, like, yeah, just trying to cook with a lot less fat is definitely the good way to go. But like I said, it's not really sustainable. So you really have to like pay attention to your body and figure out what it digests the best at what time of day. I will say though, like as far as protein sources go for inexpensive, you really can't beat eggs or even just like egg whites. Really good. And then like potatoes were a pretty good one for me too. Hi Das, thank you for the lurk. Hope you're doing good today. Lord Velos, hello. <laughs> Chef Kate, I love that. Watch it on your tablet so you cannot chat very well. That's okay. Okay, butter. I'm measuring this out. <laughs> this is hilarious how I measured it out, but I re remember why. I need like 90 mils. You're welcome. Fortitude. Hopefully that helps. And like, I know that sugars are not the best for us either. So if you can cut that down as well. I think the natural sugars are okay in small amounts, but it's just the processed things that really get us. Staying away from like white forms of gluten is definitely recommended. Okay, sounds good, Lord Velos, and thank you for that lurk. We appreciate you. So 
So the butter will get added to this. And then into here, we put our dry goods coming up. Hello, Wolfie. How are you doing today? Are we melted? Not quite. So we'll go a little bit longer. We do want it fully melted. Okay, so we'll need three cups of all-purpose flour. One. Am I gonna have just enough in here? I don't even think so. I hate when I have to dig out the entire bag of flour for like a quarter cup. <laughs> Doing well, that's good to hear. How am I? I am also doing good today. Excited to eat some pancakes. So mix in our hot butter, or our melted butter, I should say. But this mixture is gonna cool it off. And then this is actually gonna form like really small little butter nubs all throughout the batter. And that's what makes the pancakes really nice and fluffy. Okay, let me dig out this bag. Actually, we're almost done this bag of flour. That's crazy. We're gonna need some more. Okay, so that's two cups. And that's three cups. This is gonna make so much. All of the pancakes. Switch this out. One cup, two cup, three cup, four. <laughs> Thank you for that. Next one, some sugar. So I really simplified this recipe for myself when I was working in restaurants so that I could do it like as fast as possible with as little dishes and cleanup. So that's why like some of these measurements like 45 mils of sugar. Well, if you look at the tablespoon, each tablespoon is 15 mils, so that would convert to like three tablespoons of sugar. But we're doubling it, so we will do six. I will say though, like the pancakes don't really turn out tasting sweet at all. Yeah, we've served these with like pulled pork before, pulled pork pancakes, so good. Our baking powder, the magical kind. We need two tablespoons of that. That is also what helps the pancakes rise. Rise on up to the occasion. Hello, LP1990, welcome in. And then just a little pinch of salt, like a teaspoon. There we go. Then we can mix it together. Oh, I'm supposed to grab a spatula while I was over here. Pancakes with blueberries, compote, and fresh whipped cream. Also very delicious. Is that what you're having? Yeah, Michaela's. It does actually. And it's funny that you ask where this is from. 
I don't think I know, but just judging by this little logo, it might be like a pampered chef sort of thing. Cause there's a little chef's hat there. So yeah, it was in tablespoons and mills. And yeah, it has the whole set. So maybe pampered chef. Cause yeah, that's handy, isn't it? That's what you had yesterday, LP? Great minds think alike, I see. Your mother in particular complains about it. There we go. Actually, we're going to build a little well in the center here to pour the wet stuff. Mixes really nice that way. And then we'll just give this one more stir with our whisk. But then we can get rid of the whisk because this is gonna get quite thick, the batter. What establishment carries Pampered Chef? That one I don't know. Yeah, I am not like a good in-store shopper. I have not done a lot of shopping these last years. And this was actually given as a gift. Nice. Sam found the set, I think. Omdog just posted the link. Yeah, I think Squigs, it's more online, right? And people like host parties and stuff. Oh, LP says William Sonoma. Cool. That is the exact set, $16 for it. Worth it though. I've had them for quite a few years already. And they do the same for the measuring cups. Awesome. And hi, Squigs, how are you? Simona. Yeah, Simona. <laughs> it was too cute, LP. Too cute. Okay, so we're gonna pour the wet stuff into the center. And then if there's anything left in this bowl, obviously scrape out all that goodness. Hi, Scat! Lurking at work. Love it. Don't work too hard today, though, okay? And now we mix this. And so really important tip on mixing pancake batter and to have it come out fluffy, we do not want to over mix it. We almost want to see little floury lumps inside of there. Trust, it is, it turns out the best every single time. It's when you mix your pancake batter to completely smooth that you lose a lot of that aeration. Ducks go. Any suggestions on not burning delicate fish like halibut? How do you usually cook it? I like to start it in a like frying pan, a nice high heat frying pan with just some oil on like the first presentation side, let's say. Let that sear for a few moments and then I'll like flip it over and put it in the oven with a nub of butter on top. So you like sear and roast the halibut. And that's what I have seen in restaurants for it to turn out like the absolute best. When we lived on the coast, we kind of like experimented with different ways to cook the fish for the menu. And that was the way that everyone loved the most. Was like a quick pan fry on the one side, a flip, and then finish roasting it in the oven. With the skin on, might I add, and then you just take the skin off afterwards. Always, always recommend cooking fish with the skin on if you can get it that way. And then you made salmon, or then you made halibut on fruit for everybody, and then they're like, I don't want seared halibut anymore. Oh yeah. Or seared, or, yeah, Okay, look at how thick this got, you guys. And I think the buttermilk is what also makes that happen like this. That's exactly what we should be seeing. You see the little bit of flour still inside of there. And as this sits for like the next 15 minutes or so while we make the fruit salad, the flour is going to start to get absorbed by the liquid. 
So Wolfie, if you like flatter pancakes, let's call them flapjacks, really mix your batter until it's smooth. If you want really fluffy pancakes, you basically under mix the batter. And this is like a quick bread sort of style. Uh, we do for banana breads or even muffin batters, same style. You can almost like interchange it. Yeah, skin on for fish. That's always the best as well. Just like an extra layer of moisture and protection. Especially if you're worried about like burning it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this to this side. And we got kiwi, some nectarines, and some fresh raspberries. And then we'll pick over our blueberries as well, give them a wash for going into the pancakes. We just need a little bowl. to mix the fruit salad. And then we're gonna do like a little maceration with some honey, vanilla, and a small amount of a fruit liqueur. Yeah, I thought this would be a good mix for a fruit salad. So what is gonna be the best here? Might as well do the raspberry liqueur with the raspberry fruit salad. Framboise. <laughs> and our vanilla. And the honey containers up here. So our honey might have to put it in the microwave a bit. It's crystallized. And then our vanilla paste. Nummies. Okay, first thing I'm gonna pick through the raspberries. We've had these for a few days, so there might be one or two that are a bit over ripe. And that's the thing about like fresh fruits, right? They really don't last that long in the fridge. So you gotta do your part to make sure you use them up. Oh yeah, like the little silver dollar pancakes. Thanks for that reminder. It's like funny when we're like young, we like all of these like smaller things, how they're presented. Cause they're just like us. I should just make a bunch of small pancakes. It'll probably be easier anyways for flipping them. Baby pancakes. Why the heck not, right? Okay, so I only got rid of like two raspberries. Awesome. Not a fan of raspberries. Is it the seeds that throw you off? That's my guess at least. I grew up picking these right off of the bush at my Baba's house, my grandparents. So I like them. You burned some tuna that you caught yourself with friends the other night. Dang, did the uh, usual aluminum boat on the grill? Sure, you've seen that method before. Yeah, also curious on how much butter goes on the fish when you're grilling. Grilling fish is honestly the hardest way to cook it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like you won't really see a grilled fish on a restaurant menu unless it's like maybe a grilled piece of salmon going into a sandwich, something like that. But yeah, grilling fish can be a bit finicky because if you get like any heat or temp spikes, then yeah, like you said, you might accidentally burn it if you just like walk away for a second. So I might recommend like just a bit of a thicker cooking surface, like foil is quite thin, right? So the heat transfers through really quick. Maybe put it on like a pan on the grill if you want to cook it that way. That's my recommendation. So we're gonna pit these. 
actually have this like nice firmness. Ooh, what is wrong with this center one? I just picked out the middle like stem part and it's kind of like moldy in there. So maybe I'll cut through that one last. That's weird. There's that. Nice, Mish. Yeah, we have a good amount of the tomato cucumber salad left over to munch on today, too. Twist this. Beautiful. That came apart so nice. These are just things that, like, you learn with experience, ducks go. And like when you're cooking in a restaurant, you don't have a lot of time to make these decisions, nor do you have the option of like always burning things, right? Doesn't look good for anyone. Halibut's even good like baked, but I do find like the the dry heat of the oven can kind of dry it out if it bakes fully in there. So that's why, I, oh God, it was bad. I don't know what happened in there. Yeah, that's why we do a little pan fry first and pop some butter on. And then as far as like the amount of butter, a couple tablespoons. I don't think this side is salvageable. Interesting. Okay. So these little guys, we are going to, I think just like make little wedges will be really nice. I'm gonna switch to my chef's knife. Have a little taste. Mmm. Yes, please. And yeah, we want our fruit salad to be like a little bit delicate. So it's easy to eat with the pancakes. And you can like play around with the shapes that you cut your fruit. I'm gonna try this one that was kind of weird coming off of the pit. Okay, it's just a little bit more sour, but still is tasty. Okay, next one, we're gonna cut up our kiwis. I'll get all the fuzzy skin off. Cut off each side first. And then usually from here, I like peel it like this with the paring knife. Obviously trying to maximize the amount of fruit that we get. And just take the peel. I've heard of some people that just eat a kiwi like an apple. And I don't know how they do that. I've tried it. The fuzzes really throw me off though. Like such a weird texture to put in your mouth. Okay. 
Okay, we got one. Keep going. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make like a little dressing. So I have raspberry liqueur, some honey, and vanilla. Hi, Josie, how are you? So that's called like macerating fruit. Basically like infuses with this like sweet vanilla flavor. Yeah, you got us again. I'm honored. How was your day, Josie? Did you cook anything? Two kiwis, one more. Might do some salmon steaks, yum. Don't know what to cook with it though. I like salmon with potatoes or rice too. Salmon is like good with almost anything because it's so nice and fatty. It's good with pasta. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe off the board and get those kiwi hairs off first before we slice our kiwi. There we go. And then from here, I think we'll go like in half lengthwise and then make little wedges from here. So we'll go back that way. Cut it into like eight. Yum. Could even go like thinner, I think. Let's go with this way then. Just cut it in half first and then make our wedges, just like how we did the nectarine. Mmm, that would actually be so good, Josie. Wild mixed rice with salmon. Yes. Silly question How long do you marinate fish for? What type of fish are you thinking of marinating? There's no silly questions here. We're all trying to learn together. What else, Joes? Do you have any green veggies? Peas? That could be nice. Could even like put the peas in the wild rice. And lots of fresh herbs. Oh, that'll be perfect then. What about doing like this then? Like garlicky sort of peas. Really simple. And then put the herbs in the rice. So it's not so plain tasting. Do 
Nice, Scoots. You're in and out, mowing the yard. So you're gonna marinate tuna or yellowtail, summertime in Cali, so you're catching those species. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, tuna? I only really marinate it if I'm gonna like eat it raw. Is that your plan for it? Or are you gonna cook it after? Does it need a sauce, Josie? How are you gonna cook the fish? Are you just gonna like bake it in the oven? So if you're gonna cook it in the pan, then you can just put a little white wine in the pan after and deglaze it that way, a little pan sauce. Really simple. Okay, look at this. This is yummy. Our liqueur. Glad you had a safe trip back though as well, Scoots. Okay, like I said, my honey's crystallized. So I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave for a couple moments. Liquify it. Let's do like 25. We'll start there. Grab a spoon. The raspberries might get a little bit crushed when we mix it, but I'll try to be very gentle. Okay, one more small microwave on that. And then we're almost there. We'll pick through our blueberries next after this. Yum. I've been kind of munching on these throughout the week already. There we go. I love how easy that is. Okay, our honey, let's go with like a tablespoon to start at least. Because fruits have nice natural sugars too. And then basically same amount of the raspberry liqueur. You've got retsina you don't like. What is that? Retsina? So using that with pan fried salmon, garlicky peas, wild rice, and herbs. I love that. Okay, liqueur. Pour that right in and then we'll mix it up. And then just some vanilla. It's a Greek wine. Oh, there you go then. That's perfect. That's the red version of John Cena. Red Cena. Somebody send help. Like a teaspoon of vanilla. We don't gotta go crazy. But we should definitely see it and taste it. Okay, let's see how this mixes up. It's almost like a fruit sort of glaze, right? This mixture. Yum. Mmm, smells good. I smelled a bit of liqueur. It's more like aromatic than flavorful though the liqueur when you start to mix it with all this stuff. That looks so good. I'm just gonna try a bit of kiwi. Mmm. That's really good together. It's like vanilla-y, not really sweet at all, but a little bit floral from the honey. Wilson, happy Sunday. How are you doing? Okay, that's complete. That's gonna be good. Yeah, you're trying to figure out like how to cook the fish when you have guests over because they don't like to eat the raw fish. Dang, that's unfortunate because like 
in my mind, tuna is almost better raw, especially the ones that you get. Oh, just like put my finger in the blueberry. That's why we pick them over. <laughs> Soggy bloob. Burning up, Wilson. It's really warm here today, too. But yeah, you're making it. Your wife made some of her jams with, you forget the spelling, La Cure. Whose jams? You jamming? Squigs. That's true. It is true, Squigs. I find like well done tuna though definitely needs, yeah, a little something. Typically, if I'm going to have well done tuna, I'll make like a tuna melt or something. <laughs> fish wellington or fish cakes? That's a good one, Josie. Yeah. Tuna cakes? That can't be bad. Tuna cakes with the wasabi mayo. Look at that little blueberry trio. You guys see the size of some of these? Monster bloobs. That's true as well, Wilson. Yeah. Like blackened fish really imparts a lot of flavor on there. And then like I've always enjoyed the like soy and miso style marinade from Nobu. But typically I do that on like a sable fish, which is not a fish that ducks go listed. Salmon Thai fish cakes? Nummo. <laughs> Sherman, how much better are homemade croutons than the store-bought ones? I don't even think you can compare. It's like night and day, but it also depends on the bread that you use for the homemade croutons. I find the crustier the bread, kind of the more crunchy the croutons end up. If you're just using like a simple white bread, simple sandwich bread, they still turn out really nice and airy. And then you always get really good croutons when you put a good amount of like oil on them to bake and dry out. Oh, this one is moldy. Astra girl, what's happening? Why are you sad? Okay, we're almost done picking. Don't like that one. And maybe let's use the really, really ripe ones too. That one's like green almost still. Moldy. R.I.P. I think we're good. Do I have that recipe? I'm trying to remember this, Josie. My special Thai fish cake recipe. I literally don't remember. Okay, you think you want a blueberry? There you go. It's good for doggos. I know you've eaten them. Look. That's for you. She's like, what the heck are you trying to feed me? Is this a toy? It's good stuff. Okay. Going to wash these up. I will be back. And then we can finally set up our pan for cooking. Which I think I still have to wash. Let's 
escape, escape. Guys, I still need to buy like a a flatter pan. A griddle pan, let's say. Something with like no edges to it. Really easy to flip pancakes and stuff. As much as I love my cast irons, they're not the easiest to use when cooking things like pancakes and eggs, stuff like that. Flat surface is always better. When we're in the truck, though, we'll probably have an entire flat top griddle to use. So there's that. Maybe I'll just hold out a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm just trying to... I'm remembering the last time we cooked pancakes on stream and it was an absolute disaster. Just things that your body doesn't forget. I think I'm gonna try like just mini pancakes today rather than really big ones. I think it'll go better. Silver dollar pancakes. I'll dry off this pan. <laughs> okay, we're back. Hello. Torino? <laughs> Why did you do that to yourself? Too much fruit salad for Reno. Way too much fiber. Mmm. Trout? Trout's delish, yeah. What up, Blondie? How are you? What else did I miss in here? Shenanigans? Sheesh. Yeah, they're out of stock on a lot of kitchen appliances. Oh, we know. Trust. That's why we have the freezer fund up right now. Trying to get it before it goes up in price. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Still got my bloobers over here draining. Okay, so we got our washed bloobs. And everything else is ready to go. I think we'll do like a small season on this pan just because it is a little bit like matte looking. I think we need some fat in there. Have I met YouTube's Brian Labgerstrom? The couple from Pasta Grammar or Vincenzo's Plate before. Have I met them? No. Do they live in the area? I've never heard of any of these things that you're asking. You had two trout ponds back home. One was rainbow and the other was brown trout. Not sure if they still stock it. Dang. Yeah, I wonder if the ponds are full, hey? Since no one fishes anymore. That's funny. Your freezer has been a lifesaver after a natural disaster. Well, that's good. Because sometimes freezers can just be a place to commingle things that eventually just get thrown out. They're all different places, like the people that you're talking about, Sherman. Yeah, I've never heard of them. Never heard of them, met them, all of the above. 
But yeah, feel free to like post that kind of stuff in Discord if there is things that remind you of me during the week. I'd love to check it out. Maybe it'll inspire some of our other community members. Started talking fishing, Wilson, and your net crashes? Wait, the internet? Or the fishing net? Okay, so this is what I was saying. It looked a bit matte. Let's just turn this on. We don't want a super high heat for cooking pancakes. Let's try to really control it. I'll go like 210 Fahrenheit. And I'll put a little bit of grapeseed oil in this. Just kind of spread it around, let's say. Oh, your fridge is in the process of crapping out, waiting on insurance. Well, at least you got insurance for it, so that's good. But yeah, we had that happen last summer. Okay, so that'll seal up for a few moments here before we start cooking the pancakes. Literally just use the spoon to like spread the oil out. And I think actually while this is heating up, I'm just gonna take a quick bathroom break. So hold tight. Okay, I'll answer your question when I get back, Wilson. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna turn this fan on because we're warming up. It's getting heated. Okay, nice. Swirl that a little bit more. I will turn it up a little bit too. What can we tell you about grapeseed oil? Where did I put the bottle? Right beside me. <laughs> First, I will read th through what it says on the label and then I'll tell you what I know. It says for frying, cooking, baking, and salads. Oil sourced from Italy. And that's all it says about this. So what I know is it has a very mild flavor first off. And then second off, it has a higher smoke point. So it's really good to use for like high heat cooking without having it like burn and then taste bad. Oh my gosh. I was going to say, how is Bonk back? So you drove there and then got sent home basically. That's amazing Bonk. Easiest four hours ever. So do you still get paid all of that then? 
So light and fluffy, you would use grapeseed oil. For like cooking, you're saying? Like, what do you mean light and fluffy? Haha! <laughs> Suckers! No reason for you to even be there. I love that bog. The world worked out in your favor this time. That is for sure. Okay, while we're waiting for this to seal a bit more, I'm just going to put some things away that we used. The honey, the vanilla. The liqueur. I'm starting to smell the oil. Am I seeing a little bit of smoking? Not really. Trying to figure out when to use the different oils and why. I like to use grapeseed for like very neutral things. Uh, for pancakes, things like that, where you're gonna go like more sweet, definitely don't use olive oil. That would be the worst thing. And then for sure grapeseed for like searing your meats or cooking any type of meat in a pan. And then olive oil, I really like to save for just kind of vegetable uses. Low heat veggie cooking or roasting and then using it in like salad dressings. Yeah, olive oil in pancakes. Unless I guess you're making like a different version, right? Because some people make olive oil cake. I've never done that one before. I've eaten it though and it's really yummy. You should try that actually. Okay, just judging by how this is looking, it's really happy. Here's our fruit salad. You can toss it up one more time. Yeah, look at all the juices building up down there. Just macerating in honey, raspberry liqueur, and some vanilla. Kiwi, raspberry, nectarine. Our batter has been chilling for like half an hour or so. Look at it. Looks really good. I think I'm gonna use like a little ice cream scoop for this. I don't know why, but this is talking to me right now. Fill this, sploot it out there. You've only ever cooked pancakes in butter. So I will add butter eventually to the pan, maybe near the end. But yeah, grapeseed oil is really neutral. Like this is what most restaurants will like spread on their flat top griddle when we're cooking breakfast. Tastes good with pancakes, tastes good with eggs and everything else. Uh, I haven't heard about cooking with avocado oil, but I've heard people make like dressings and stuff with it. You guys, butter only, Kate. Okay, well, let's see. The butter is gonna make things brown quicker as well, so you know that. <laughs> That's the best bong. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop, fill it up. Let's see. Sometimes it's good to just do like a test pancake, see where your pan is at, stuff like that. Nothing's really happening quite yet. Turn that up one more. I think this is almost gonna be too big. Okay, it's not stuck. I'm just not seeing a ton of like sizzling around this piece. But if I know anything about cooking pancakes at home, you really don't want to crank the heat too high. Okay, Squigs, you cook with avocado oil. Have like an aerosolized spray that claims to be zero calorie. How can it be zero calorie? That's wild.
Now we got sizzles. Looks like 300 is the temp. Trying to control the lighting in here for us too. Here we go. We'll check it in a moment. Doggle, you wanna go out? Okay. Go check it out. It's actually cooking so nicely. Okay. So I think we can load it up with a bit more then. Move it over. And so then do we want to start it with blueberries? Fun. That works really nice. And hello, GSP. How are you doing today, Eddie? This batter is new to you, Wilson. It literally turns out tasting like a cake baked in a pan. I think we got to flip that first one now and then we can see how the temperature has actually gone down since we added the rest of that batter in here. Oh, I hate when that happens, but that flipped really nice. Just don't like getting batter on this side because it gets really sticky. Move that over. Yummo. Are they thick thick or fluffy thick? It's like kind of both. Like I don't think they're super dense or they shouldn't turn out that way if we do everything right. But yeah, they have this really nice like cakey texture and then the outside gets this nice little crisp layer as well. And hi Crimson. Oh, a quarter second of a spray. Yeah, thick and fluffy bonk. Turn this back around. Now we're cooking. Don't go too crazy though. Holy. Okay, and then obviously this pan. Closer we go to the edge, kind of the less browned it gets, right? And then sometimes the middle I find like almost gets too dark. Almost like that one. So that's why I said having like a flatter surface with zero sides on the pan, way easier if you're uh, like a, a breakfast cook, let's say. If you're a brunch person. first one must be very near and then you can always like flip it back over if you're finding that it's not cooking as even as you like okay I still haven't found a happy medium temp on here I wish there was like a 315 Fahrenheit because 300 seems too low and then 330 seems too high But maybe we just got to move quicker then if we're going to do 330. Okay. 
the ancient fish slap. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I literally only have one plate. One plate to rule them all. That's all we got today, chat. I guess that we get what we get, right? Wondering if a smaller spatula is gonna be easier. You never know, unless you try. But I'm hearing some crazy blueberry sizzles happening. It is easier with this. Okay, these are definitely cooking nicer than the last pancake disaster stream. Trust. It was a disaster. Yeah, electric griddle. The rare time that having one of those is just like comes so handy. Hi Clem! Clem wants please come on over. We made a double batch. Barely even put a dent in the bowl with these four. Okay, so this was the first one we added, right? Yeah, nice. It's almost getting a bit too dark. gonna flip over one more for the other side just to hopefully get a little bit more even browning. I would like to take a photo. Oh, I gotta grab some maple syrup as well. Wilson likes flapjacks. Okay, that's looking pretty good. This one's like the most perfect, I think. Shall we just turn that off for a moment? Move it over. This is the first plate. I just like to show it. And then we can carry on. Kind of group all your pancakes together like that in the middle. Give your little fruit salad a stir. And yeah, the raspberries got like a little bit juicy jammy. The kiwis. Kiwis. The Kiwis and the Mishas? The Mishas? I think that's good. Maybe one more Kiwi. What'd you have it? 3.30. And then a little bit of the juice. And then, like, I'm just going to put the syrup on the side, I think. Just in a little cup. Kiwis and the Mishas. <laughs> Mary's coming in. What's poppin', chat? These pancakes are pretty poppin'. Hi, Twitch Blackmore. How are you? A shot of maple syrup, whether you have it with your pancakes or just on its own. You choose how Canadian you really are. That looks nice. I think I'll take a photo. 
One phone, oh, please. Oh, all the spiders find their way in. Sherman, no. Okay, that's good. That goes to Randall. Does we need a nub of butter? Samo says, yeah. Okay. It was feta and the Mishes. <laughs> oh, I tried to split it. That'll do, chat. That'll do. Okay, I'll go bring this and you're watching or you're bringing it and I'm watching. Okay. He's cooking. Okay, just mute it for me for a sec. It's half brown, half not. You choose what side you like best. <laughs> At least it's working better this time though. Or is it not? Yeah, that's good. Okay. The only other option which I wasn't committing to today is lighting a fire and using the plancha flat top griddle. Yeah. That looks yummy though. Astra girl, what's up with you? <sighs> Guys, this week went by so dang fast. Like, holy smokes. Yeah. Next week's gonna go by even faster, I think. That. Yeah, we're planning a subathon again for next week coming up is i think it's gonna be a long weekend for people in the states right july 4th and then on the first is canada day so i was thinking of doing a really fun stream cooking a bunch of different canadian foods this past week seemed long i will say like the things that happened this week made it seem long some days for sure how come you chose this? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I'm just wondering if you're thinking it is better. No, but it's yeah. just because you didn't see the but other ones. I didn't ones. see those either, so. Yeah, you got Monday off. Sweet! Woohoo! I know, and like, how was it almost July? What the heck? What else is happening next weekend? Is that it? We gotta look up. I'm gonna look up for one festival, or there's actually two that we can like go and stream with everyone. 
One is Heritage Days, but I think that's in August. And then the other one is Taste of Edmonton. Oh, shoot. It's next weekend. <laughs> oh, July 30th. Or sorry, no. It's in a month, basically. That's, That's perfect. Well, let me just click on this and see if they updated it. 2022. Yeah, July 30th to August 1st. Festivals are so fun. That one's a really good one, Clem. So it's hosted in like the biggest park in the city in the River Valley. And then it's just a bunch of different like ethnic restaurants and cuisines from around the city. And you go buy tickets and like have a little tasting from everywhere. Hit that one up all the time when we lived here before. Sundays is when all the French Chateau channels on YouTube put out videos one after another like restorations huh i know sunday is a day on youtube for a lot of people to post their videos it's a very popular upload day upload. those are cooking nicely mm -hmm. can you taste the buttermilks no and you don't like blueberry pancakes he doesn't like blueberry pancakes guys Wait, so when you went to Red Wagon, would you get blueberries in them? No, I did. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Mish, don't even ask. These are the things I deal with. He doesn't like fajitas. What was the other one? <laughs> Just giving him heck the other day. <laughs> oh, shoot. He just likes pancakes. I'm surprised his dad's not in here. It's Chuck's the pancake man. Right? Weekend pancake man? You didn't have to cook those ones. Chuck did. Nice. Sundays or Saturdays? Uh, I think Sundays. Yeah, my dad would be the brunch person on Sundays as well. What about you guys growing up? Was there always like one day on the weekend where you're like as a family, you sat down and had like a kind of more higher end breakfast or brunch together? And then do I know French Sherman? I know like French cooking terms more than anything. I did take a little bit of French growing up in school, but yeah, sadly I don't know the language enough to speak it, but I do know it. Like, maybe enough to read it. Yeah, the blueberries don't have to be in the batter. We've already got a fruit salad on top. You, I was also thinking of, like, adding fresh blueberries into the fruit salad so you have a mix of, like, cooked and not. Yeah, pancakes are yummy in a lot of ways. Yeah, I really want to learn a second language. Probably when I'm retired. <laughs> Which hopefully is not that probably far away. Probably be German. Yeah, it's probably going to be German first now. So that we can go live there. We're going to go work at Rose's German B&B &B bed and breakfast. Clem, you guys would do it on Saturdays. That and Saturday morning cartoons. Yes, yeah. Always on Sundays around the time when we had finished brunch. Uh, why is this leaving my mind right now? What's the Asian chef channel or show? Iron Chef? Iron Chef, that's the one. Yeah, Iron Chef would always come on after. Me and my dad would watch it. Mom and dad would take us to Village Inn or Denny's. Nice, Mary. Yeah, sometimes we would go out as well, but not always. And then I think we never did it on Saturdays because I played a lot of sports growing up and we would often have to like go to an early soccer game or something like that. Is this cooking? 
Are these for me or you? You. I don't see like any movement in this pan. No sizzles. Your mom's side used to get together on Saturdays at your noni's. Oh, she cooks for everybody. Is that Italian for grandmother? Thanks, dearly. Yeah, now there's sizzles. We had to turn it up a bit. Mish says neither of my parents are or were good cooks. Interesting. Yeah, like my mom would do a lot of cooking throughout the week. Like we wouldn't really never go out to eat during the week. So like Saturday night, maybe go out for dinner. And then Sunday, my dad would always cook a breakfast. Whether it's like pancakes, waffles, French toast, uh, bacon and eggs with hash browns, like whatever. So many options. Much better than the last ones. Much better than the last ones? What the heck even happened with the last ones? Oh. Bad juju. May I please have the other spatula? Cooker girl. Cute doggo. You're such a pancake dog. <laughs> How come these are so large? Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, I wish there was a 315 Fahrenheit one. How are the pancakes? Good. Do you need a couple more? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no more, guys. How did these end up so massive? Chat, did Sam do a double scoop? What is he doing to us? Now it smells burnt. Ah! <laughs> Holy frick. I, I can do this if you want. <laughs> no, Mish! She effed up the dinner. It's kind of like how these pancakes are going. Nuts. I know, they're okay. I always love like making a big deal about things on stream for the entertainment purposes and then to have the reaction <laughs> from <laughs> this one. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> Tried making a roasty, they completely fell apart in the pan, just made fried potatoes. Sounds like my McDonald's hash brown copycat that ha we did. Yeah, fried potatoes, you're good. Then I just froze the rest of them, and now I bake them and they turn out great. They yeah. turned out really good. Really oh yeah, good. we cooked those on a stream a while back, actually. Look at those fluffsters. Yeah, it's really fluffing up. Almost like an inch tall, I would say. Hey, Chef Sino. And that's cute, Sherman. It's Italian for grandparents, but someone got it wrong when we were all kids, so you always called your grandma Noni. Noni. That was like my one French cousin. Nonis. <laughs> my one cousin growing up would call me Caitlin because she couldn't pronounce the T. I was like, I'm actually into that. Maybe I'll change my name. Caitlin. It's Caitlin. Cook with cake. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Chef Sino. Yeah, what? If you hand my photo, I'll show the completed plate. Look at this one. You're the cutest. Are you cooking anything today, Chef Sino? Frozen pizza with bacon on it? That's what's for breakfast. You're gonna make some French toast? Nice. Yeah, this is how it turned out. That is my plate that we did for my bro. Cute little pancakes. Oh, imagine like trying to eat a pizza frozen. You would get a really bad stomach ache. Don't eat raw dough, chat, please. You don't know better. Oh, ask. bake from frozen. Oh shoot. 
Phew. We're just bugging you. Should have been Nona for Grandma and No Ni for Grandpa. Or like No No, isn't it? Nona and No No. And then it's No Ni for both of them. We're learning. Why are you being so cute? Oh my god. Look at you. Astra. She says, Uncle, you know I like pancakes. Look at it. How? What are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> Look at it. That's what's down there right now. If you feel like you're being watched, you are. She is so dang cute. Put blueberries on your French toast so it matches ours? Yes. High five. Give her a pancake. She can have a little corner I'm of making, it. No, I'm making her smaller. She gets a pup cake? A pup cake. And yeah, that's what we're making today. So this is my special recipe that I made for a brunch menu once upon a time. They are thick and fluffy pancakes. It's like cakes in a pan, right? Good noises. Yeah, you need to hear the sizzles though while they're cooking. That's so cute, Mish. Yeah, yeah don't sure. forget the sear pup. <laughs> <laughs> How is Albert doing, by the way? Haven't Seer heard about him. Cupcake. They look like scotch pancakes? Josie, I don't know what this is. We need to look it up now. Scotch pancakes. Well, they kind of do. What? Let's learn this. They are sweet. I think we're making scotch pancakes. And we didn't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> like literally. The main difference between scotch pancakes and regular is that the scotch ones are thicker and they taste about 6,000 times better. There's extra sugar, egg, and baking powder. Which means they're sweeter, richer, and fluffier. That's seriously my recipe. Just like up a little bit of the ingredients and this is what it ends up being. Cool. We just learned something new. Oh, put a little bit of raspberry sauce on it, she said. This just in. We're learning things we never knew before. Thanks, Josie. This is what Samo makes for me. Thanks, Samo man. Pancakes in a bowl. They're great with butter straight from the pan. I am sure of it. Yeah, that's all Samo does too. Just watch the edges. Of what? The pancakes. Oh. Okay. I just wanna. That's the thing about having them thick is you really gotta make sure that they're cooked through. Otherwise they're super duper doughy. Which I don't actually know why these ones still are because some cooked them for a long time already. And I cooked them at like a low temp to make them not doughy. So, no. Raisins? Whoa! Never thought of that. But yo, I just had a bite of pancake with the nectarine and that's really good. Sherman need to turn off autocorrect it's stressing me out sometimes it really goes on the fritz I will say <laughs> it's like are we speaking English anymore hmm. 
what you guys got on the go for the rest of the day. What are we going to do? I'll probably do some dishes after stream. So we're ready for the next week. Hmm? Huh? Tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. The natural sweetness of the fruit's really nice. Like, I don't even need syrup. We got some deliveries later. I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll soak up some sun. Maybe I'll go plant my herbies outside since it's nice out. Get a little bit dirty. Good fruit, hey? It all tastes really good. Tis the season, we can say. Okay, I'm looking at our rewards request queue, just filing through here. We got Misha's lamb kofta, complete. Water, complete. We have two cook with Sammy's in the queue. Annie's is a Thai style curry. And then Mary's is a French style sort of braised dish. So that's pretty much it. Set, so that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's from Lake Crusette. Should go for a walk, but it's supposed to get hella hot. Yeah, always good to go for a walk either like first thing in the morning in the summer or later at night, like after dinner. Now they're cooking, right? I don't know. Sometimes the induction really goes low in heat and then ramps back up. The Cubanos, it's not done. We're leaving it there for <laughs> Eric. That's Let's cool. see how long. This is a test for us. How long until we can do Eric's Cubano in the truck? From last year? Yep. Yep. He said he wanted to keep it in the queue, so let's do it. We could do Cubano a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He is committed. He wants to be the first thing cooked in the truck. Should meal prep for a few days, but every time you do it just becomes dinner for the family. That's actually so funny. It was supposed to last. <laughs> just <laughs> ate it all. Guess you just gotta make some more then. They're cooking now. I have to ask this though. I guess though, maybe they have made something like this from cast iron. It's like I've not just seen a round, like flat griddle pan from any company, but I've seen that they have the lid that goes on top flat, right? Like I'm surprised there's no little round griddle from Saab or Le Crusette in this style. It's just something I thought of. Wonder if Lodge has one. Cast iron induction griddle. Oh yeah, I guess. Amazon. Okay. That one's kind of cool. They do make them, but I'm just surprised that like the higher end companies haven't marketed that because that would be an easy sell. They're like $45 chat. The little flat pans. And they're actually just kind of marketed as a crepe pan. 10 inches. Oh, a lodge one? Ten and a half inch? Let me do this on my Canadian Amazon then. Those look exactly like the photo number. Uh oh, what happened here? Hello? Titan! Welcome! Happy Sunday, my dude! Lodge griddle. Is it the one that's like pre-seasoned? That one. It's showing. 
No buying options. <laughs> Oh, okay. So you can get it for $20 US bonk? Yes. No. Ours is 45 But free shipping, so there's that. Interesting. Could be something to look into, but like I said, we're actually planning on like for our stove cooking surface. Just using a flat top griddle because you can put pans and stuff on top of there. Don't move. There's a cute dog right here. Long link warning. That's actually not the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks, Bonk. Thanks for posting that. That would be the one that would work so good because you see you can totally tell what's like holding us back and it's just this side of the pan just giving us a bit more of a challenge that do we really need in the morning <laughs> like i don't know if we can zoom in anymore here but you know that it's fluffy when it has like i call this like a foot almost like how a macaron bakes and then it rises back up. Titan, how is the garden and the bees? How are they doing this week? Listen. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like showing your, the side of your head. Astra girl. Hi. Pancake dog. Mm. Mm. It's storming. Yeah. Need that rain, so that's always good. Okay, guys. I think we're wrapping up. This might be like the quickest stream we've ever done. I honestly don't know. Other than like grocery shop streams. Still bonk, you guys have not got any rain there. What to heck? That's really scary. Because if we know what happened last year, yeah, just under two hours. That's wild. Oh, nice. Kanara's doing the last episode of her Game of Thrones stuff today. What else we got? I'm scrolling through food and drink. Do you a Kanara? Yeah. I know she's trying to get to partner, so let's keep helping her. The more we help each other, the more it helps all of us, isn't it? Yeah, right, Bog? Like, I don't even want to say that word. Fire. Just for fear. Yeah, of course, Lord Velos. Thank you for the lurk. You found it, Josie! I knew it. Okay, I knew that it wasn't like a Thai style, but that's so funny you went back. Because I did remember I made salmon cakes. She says, Kate, it was salmon cakes with caper aioli from June 7th, 2020. Good job, <laughs> Josie! And yeah, those are so good and so easy. Like, our fishermen still are eating those out of their freezer that we made for them. That's what we ate 13 days before we got married. Yeah! And hi, <laughs> Daph! The kibbe was awesome. Yeah, kibbe, kofta, whatever you want to call it. Grilled lamb on a stick. 
tasty bits. Yeah, thanks for tagging me on Twitter. Loved seeing that this morning. Okay, we're gonna go raid Kanara. She's doing her last day of Game of Thrones foods. Also trying to get partner. Let's help her out. You thought this was a food for friends meal? Today or the salmon cakes? I think the salmon cakes were. The salmon cakes might have been. Pretty sure it was. <laughs> Sometimes my brain just jumbles it all together. That's why I still gotta compile the stream food list of all these years. I don't even know how many items are gonna be on there. And then the hardest part I think is like to try and start this list. How do you organize everything? We just go like alphabetical will be the easiest. Do we go by cuisine? Do we go by like meats or different things like that? Where do we start? <laughs> Sam's overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, easily 200 plus items. There are 770, I think, YouTube videos now. 770 YouTube videos, and then we like stopped uploading them for like what? A month? At that one point? Mm -hmm. Hi, anything. Apple Avocado. I got everything uploaded. Okay. But we haven't missed anything. Okay. Get someone else to do it. Yeah, sounds like that would be the better option. <laughs> okay, guys. Hopefully this inspired you to maybe cook some breakfast for yourself coming up this week. Or today. Make it for dinner. Yeah, breakfast for dinner. Had that a lot growing up, too. Was always pumped for it. Some of the easiest and quickest. And I will say breakfast food is also some of the most expensive stuff that you can cook. So if you're trying to be budget friendly, maybe eat breakfast for a few meals. Apple avocado? I think everyone's body is different and I'm definitely not a doctor. So I don't think I can really help you out at that point, but just keep taking care of yourself and you'll get better soon. I'm hitting this button, setting up the raid. It has been created. Sam is scooping. The last of the pancake in the pan anyways. So there's not much more to see here. We'll come up with a menu coming up this week. You are gonna do Annie's dish coming up next weekend, I think. Yeah, Sammy sure. said you'll be cooking with us. Yeah, bonk. See you next Saturday. Don't work too hard on those Fridays. Pumped that you didn't have to actually like go in today though. So that's really nice. And yeah, I will definitely post the menu. And that just didn't happen this week because it was like trying to survive. <laughs> I still might just post in Discord because I like to be able to scroll through and look through the things that we've cooked. Okay, let's go see Kanara guys. Thanks so much for like an awesome weekend of cooking. Yesterday's meal was so, so good. So thank you once again, Mish, for requesting that one with your points. Got anything else, Samo? I don't think so. Stay safe. Love y'all. If you need us, you know where to find us. Discord, Twitch, any other social. Make sure you follow us there. Yeah, drove up there, walked in the door, was there for 15 minutes, walked out, and drove home. Couldn't ask for anything better, honestly. Okay, go hit this button. Sammy, say bye. 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 See you next week, guys.